Joining me now for more on this race, NBC News senior national political reporter Sahil Kapoor. Sahil, how worried are progressives about this challenge from Latimer? And, and how much are both candidates really trying to paint themselves as the one true ally to President Biden? Oh, they're worried, Peter. You don't bring in Bernie Sanders and AOC in the final run-up to an election if you are coasting to renomination, you know, <clears throat> without without much of a challenge. This is a very serious threat to Congressman Jamal Bowman, backed by millions and millions of dollars, eye-popping sums of money, which are unusual to see in a Democratic primary. And the reason progressives are taking this so seriously is that they're eager to hold the line with their now nine squad members. They worry about what message it could send, what impact it could have on other progressives of one of their own gets taken out. Remember, it's been six years since the squad was effectively formed, and its members keep facing primary challenges, and they've always beaten them back. They've never lost a single one of their members, and this would be if Bowman loses the first loss. A recent poll did find Bowman down by double digits, but polling is sparse in this race, and it's still unclear uh, what, the, what the outcome will be. There have been thousands of votes cast early, and this does seem to be striking a chord when you've got someone like Hillary Clinton jumping in this race to endorse against the incumbent to bomb Bowman. She uh, backed George Latimer. Now, Latimer's allies are accusing Bowman, as he showed in this, uh, you know, in that in that mashup of going after President Biden, voting against his Infrastructure Act. They're trying to make this kind of a referendum on him. And Bowman, for his part, is trying to counter that, touting his support for Biden, touting his support for his uh, measures on climate change, his uh, attempts to combat gun violence, and saying his position on Israel, which is a huge flashpoint in this race, is about standing on moral conviction. Let me ask you, Sahil, very quickly about that topic. Bowman, obviously an outspoken critic of the war, uh, the critic of the war in Gaza right now. That this really amplifies larger divisions that exist between the president and progressives right now. How does that weigh into this race? Yeah, it absolutely does. And the issue of Israel and Hamas, that war is the single biggest flashpoint in this race because that's what's driving so much of the money that's coming in from uh, pro-Israel groups, including uh, APAC affiliates. It's what has uh, prompted progressives to cobble together their own millions of dollars to try to defend Jamal Bowman. And it's also creating consternation within the New York Democratic delegation, even in fellow New York City area blue districts. That includes Congressman, uh, a spat between Bowman and Congressman Richie Torres. Let's show... Uh, a tweet that Richie Torres put up after Bowman accused him on a recent podcast of being calculating with his pro-Israel position. Torres says, quote, I care as much about his opinion on me as I do about his opinion on how to properly pull a fire alarm. That's re uh, referring to a recent incident that Bowman had uh, last year or his opinion yeah. of how to remain in Congress. He says his opinion of me is worse than a rubber stamp, leaves no impression like his legislative record, Peter. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.